today's video, I'll be changing the rear output seal on my 66 Ford Galaxy 500 with the C6 Ford transmission. First thing is get your car off the ground. Looks like my transmission doesn't even have a seal. Um, it's just dri dripping ATF. And when you're going fast, it splashes from right here to the cross member on the exhaust, causing it to smoke. And it's dripping a pretty good puddle. I'll be taking off the drive shaft unit. But to do that, I gotta take off this U joint. Um, half inch bolts and nuts right there. I did put the car in neutral with obviously power tracks on each side spaced out so I could get the bottom two nuts off and I could push the car up a little bit and get the other two. And then that will drop right down. Okay, I got the drive shaft out pretty easy. It's right there. And I did tape that because inside there's little bearings and you don't want these caps to come off because then you're screwed. Yeah, you can see how nasty it, that is. I'll um, spray some brake, brake cleaner on that, clean it up, and then try to pop that old seal out. Time to take a break. I'm just using some regular brake cleaner. Wipe that off. Now you see that red ring right there? That's the old seal. And I'm just gonna get a screwdriver, a little flathead, and kind of hit it right there with the hammer and see if that comes out. But not mocking it too crazy though, because I don't want to nick up that end right there. So here's the old seal. I had to, you know, beat the shit out of it a little bit. Came out. See the spring right there? Sometimes that stays in the transmission and you got to make sure that's out and here's the new one Springs in there And the old one is missing this little cover too So I'll probably grease this up and I believe this little notch goes towards the bottom of the transmission Correction That little notch doesn't mean anything It's that little hole right there has to be pointing down on the transmission. I got the new seal all greased up and ready to go in, but make sure inside the transmission is clean. See that red shit? That's like a sealing gasket. All that has to come out so the new one can seat perfectly in there. Got that pretty clean. I just used a long skinny flat screwdriver to pick most of it. And then I got in there with some sandpaper in my finger and just kind of went around like that and make sure nothing's there and it's all smooth and ready to install it's all set in place ready to be tapped in remember my hole is on the bottom and the easiest way to do this is i have a two inch stainless coupling for a water pipe and i'm going to put that like here like that and then slowly hit the hammer to suck it in and you want to make sure you hit that in square and even because it won't go in if it's kind of cross-eyed or cock-eyed or whatever. So make sure you tap that in evenly. Okay, I got the new one seated in pretty good. Honestly, it was a little, a little tricky to hit that in. But once I got majority of it in, I was able to get a big punch and send it home on top. Now we could and drive and, I mean, install the drive shaft. Now this next part is not necessary and I'm probably gonna, gonna get a lot of haters on it, but I just put a little piece of rope right there so I could set my drive shaft on it and rest it so I could line up everything up there. Be very careful when you're putting your drive shaft in the back of the transmission that it's not in a bind because you don't want to rip that seal and have to do this project all over again. And again, see what I mean with the rope? It's just enough to hold the weight of it so I could get all the that coupling right there adjusted. I got one on there to hold it, but since I'm here, see a little greaser right there. I'm gonna pump maybe one or two squirts of grease in that before I put the second one on. Cause I don't think it's ever had grease. Just about done.
All right, got that all tight and centered, squared. Let's go check out the seal. Looking pretty good. Another reason why I knew it was that seal leaking is because again, when you would get on it, it would start to smoke. And after you'd pull over, you'd see a drip oil from there, but also you can notice See how that exhaust pipe is black compared to metal? This is all a brand new exhaust, which tells me that was dripping oil on the exhaust pipe and oil burns, and it would just hit the pipe and burn and smoke and discolor the pipe and scare the shit out of you. I also went ahead today and changed the trans cooling lines right there. These little guys, I feel like they were leaking too and new hoses to the radiator so next thing i'll get this car warmed up i will check the transmission fluid and hopefully be on the road thanks for watching bye